Tesla's filed a patent named Metal Sulfate Manufacturing System via Electrochemical Dissolution, with the help of three of its engineers. This patent aims to recover nickel and cobalt that have not been utilized completely or damaged significantly. These two elements are very important materials in the manufacturing of battery cells. Tesla filed a patent on the 29th of July 2021, which was right after the second quarter earnings call of 2021. This was also Tesla's eighth consecutive quarter as a profitable company. Tesla will be making use of the electrochemical dissolution process to retrieve nickel and cobalt and recycle them. This will take the world towards a very efficient and environmentally sustainable supply of those chemicals that are crucial in battery manufacturing process. The global supply chain of battery-relevant chemicals will be positively affected by this patent, and many shortages that were faced in the past will no longer be a reality if things go through right. It is undeniable that no electric vehicle can run without a battery, and that is what differentiates an EV from an internal combustion engine vehicle. As the global EV industry is growing, so is the demand for EV batteries. This has in turn created a shortage of materials that are required to manufacture a battery. EV batteries have a certain lifespan, and after that, these are not of much use. The end of an EV battery's lifespan is not just reached when the battery is of completely no use, but generally comes when the battery is at almost 70 to 75% capacity. It means there are still many raw materials in the battery that are not yet completely used up or damaged completely. Recycling such materials from the non-functioning battery cells is just what Tesla is planning to do. Tesla's very strategically chosen nickel and cobalt for recycling. Nickel is a very rare material that is not very abundantly present in the earth. Cobalt has very harmful effects on the environment and gets mined with a lot of immoral practices. The sulfates of nickel and cobalt are very often utilized as the raw materials in the precursors of the lithium-ion battery, cathode of the nickel-metal hybrid batteries, and the cathodes of the nickel-cadmium battery. Very often, it becomes very costly or simply difficult to procure metal sulfates from the open market, as these are in shortage. This forces many companies to make metal sulfate solutions with the help of sulfuric acid dissolution and metal products that are readily available in the market. The growth of the EV and hybrid sector is causing a major shortage of readily available metals, such as nickel powder, cobalt powder, nickel briquette, and cobalt briquette. Tesla will be using an electrolyte bath container that will have a solution filled in it. Then the battery cells will be placed inside. A relatively dilute sulfuric acid will be used in the bath that will then result in an electrochemical dissolution reaction. This will be done with the help of an anode and a cathode that will synthesize the metal sulfate solution. The metal sulfate solution will come from the briquette materials, cathodes or powders. These baths will have low voltage currents passed through them, which will extract the metals by releasing the unutilized metals in the battery cells. The prices of both nickel and cobalt have risen significantly since September of 2019. The nickel price has increased by 9.25%, while the cobalt price has risen by an astonishing 62.64%. If the patent gets approved, Tesla will have an opportunity to procure these precious materials by recovering them from old batteries. Keeping in mind the high demand for these metals, the costs that Tesla incurs for these metals to manufacture new batteries will also get slashed significantly. Tesla will also get to remove itself from the waiting list for these materials. Elon Musk has been asking different suppliers for nickel for a very long time now. He's even offered many suppliers giant contracts if they agree to work with Tesla in the long run. For now, Tesla has been dealing primarily with Australia's mineral mining company BHP as its main supplier. Other companies from Canada and Indonesia are also in the talks with Tesla. The Tesla Model 3 and Model Y are among the top best-selling electric vehicles in China. Tesla's made the Model 3 Standard Range Plus into an even much desirable EV in China. The official Weibo account of Tesla China announced that there is a reduction in the price of the EV sedan. Tesla's reduced 15,000 yuans off the made-off in China Model 3 Standard Range Plus. This now takes the price of the EV down to around 235,900 yuans 
once there are incentives taken into account. Tesla China states on the official Weibo page that the price reduction is being done as an effort to show the effect of cost fluctuations in real time. The EV maker wants to stay true to the principles of open markets and the trend of transparent prices. Tesla will be continuing to bring its customers a much valuable experience as well as the product itself. Along this line, the company announced that the new adjusted price of the Model 3 standard range is set at 235,900 yuans after the price cut of 15,000 yuans. Industry watchers and experts had anticipated this price cut for the Model 3 Standard Range Plus, as Tesla already set the starting price of the Made in China Model Y Standard Range at 276,000 yuan. Such a low starting price is set by Tesla to attract the more price-conscious buyers of China. Both the Model Y Standard Range and Model 3 Standard Range Plus are now being offered at extremely competitive prices. If the top market choices are considered, these two EVs are competing with one another at this point. The EV being sold more in China than the Model Y and Model 3 is the GM Wuling Mini EV. Tesla can never drop its prices to that low price point, as the EV maker would not decide to sell a vehicle with such stripped-off features. The cost fluctuations at the Shanghai Gigafactory were cited to be the reason behind the price adjustment of the Model 3 Standard Range Plus. A very strategic move must be taken by Tesla to differentiate the prices of the entry-level Model Y and the base-level Model 3. This is necessary to avoid such a case where the Model Y causes a reduction in the Model 3 sales due to an increase in its own sales. The price adjustment of the Model 3 Standard Range Plus has been taken very well by the consumers as well as regulatory bodies in China. The CPCA, China Passenger Car Association Secretary General, released a statement and claimed that the price adjustments hint at a very efficient supply chain by Tesla China. He also stated that this strong supply chain would be very beneficial for Tesla in making a spot for itself in the Chinese auto market that is right now saturated with super affordable vehicles that are being sold on a large scale. This is again a hint at the GM Wuling Mini EV that has taken the Chinese automobile market by storm. Tesla is not being expected to make a product like that with minimum features anytime in the future, as it would dilute the brand to a very extreme extent. On the other hand, Tesla's very actively working on making a 25,000 US dollar EV that will be produced and sold within the Chinese market. Tesla has plans to deliver made in China EVs to other areas of the world as well. This was also hinted at during the second quarter update letter when Tesla made it clear that the Shanghai Gigafactory will act as the primary vehicle expert hub. This makes a lot of sense for Tesla as well. Several right hand drive markets can easily be accessed by Tesla by making them at the Chinese Gigafactory. This recent price reduction for the Model 3 Standard Range Plus shows that the supply chain Tesla has built in China is much superior now than it was some time ago. Such significant price adjustments are not seen to be made at other markets very often, as these were made for China. All this will be very useful for Tesla when strategically expanding both within and outside of China. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.